Welcome, dear Leo, to your messages from your ancestors reading. Leo, if these messages do not resonate with you, please go ahead and look at your moon rising and Venus signs as those messages might be more relevant for you at this time. We're going to go ahead, Leo, and just see um, what are the very specific messages your ancestors want you to know. Your ancestors are all the generations that have come before you, that have your best interest at heart. You, they love you and care from you from afar. So let's have a look to see the messages they want you to know at this time. Right. So the first card we get is Lemuria, creating heaven on earth. It is happening. They want you to know, your ancestors, Delia, they want you to know that you can actually create heaven on earth. You have the ability to create happiness for yourself, for your for this generation and the generations to come, you have the ability to create it. So it could be in terms of what you do with work. It could be how you raise your family. It could be how you love the people around you. But you have the ability of creating heaven of, on earth. And it's happening. You are already doing it. There is, you, or you have it in you. You have everything you need in you to create this. We are going to get further clarification with Oracle cards. But we're just going to take a look and see if the main message is coming through. Align your life. What is not aligned or need to or needs to change? Okay, so there's something or some situation, someone that's in your life that is causing you to become scattered and fragmented. And they want you to be aware of this because something needs to change so that you can consolidate and focus all your energy and move forward in a direction that is absolutely aligned and right for you. Okay, so this is also a very, very strong, powerful message from your ancestors. They want you to break the chain. They want you to break ancestral patterns, heal and rewrite the future. So these, these um, ancestral patterns is going to be very specific for uh, for everybody. So, you know, for some people, it could be, you know, how... It could be like a substance abuse or um, relationship, you know, the, the the relationship patterns. It could be um, poverty. It could be uh, anything. You know, you will if you look back at your parents, your grandparents, and even your if you can look at your great grandparents. You know, it could be that there was always a problem with money. There was always a struggle with money. There was always maybe divorce in the family. I don't know. For everybody, it's going to be sp specific. Your ancestors are saying you are dear Leo, the breaker of chains. Okay. You break the chains. You can heal this, whatever this pattern is, for you, for your children, and for your children's children, and all the future generations coming forward. So a very strong message coming through for you there. And then we've got answer the call. What is your soul calling you to do? So my dear Leos, that your ancestors are telling you, you have a huge, strong soul calling. For some of you, it's very obvious. For others of you, you might have to do a bit of a deep dive to see what it is, but they want you to acknowledge what your soul is calling you to do and to heed it and to do something about it. So let's get some more clarifications with our oracle cards to see what is this all about. Right, we've got transformation, which comes through with Lemuria. We've got willpower, which is, comes through with aligning your life. We've got financial health. Okay, so for a lot of you, it's financially, there's some story coming on with these ancestral patterns. Like, as a, funny enough, I did mention that with the poverty. And then answer the call is coming through with trust. Okay. Okay, Leah. So your messages are really lovely and clear from your ancestors. They are telling you that you, you, my dear Leos, are able to transform things not only for yourself, but for other people. You can create an absolute heaven on her earth for yourself 
and for others you are very strong you have great insight and you can you can inspire transformation by being a leader and setting an example so for each of you you're going to understand this because it might be relevant to your to your soul work it could be the work you're doing now it just could be the way you are in your family bringing up your family messages you have for your friends you really inspire transformation yeah now not something that you that will happen you know when we, we we cross over you say no we can have have we can have heaven on earth now and you inspire this and you can bring this about for people people who don't even believe it's happening you can bring it about for them okay so uh, with your your alignment for something being a alignment they're telling you they're not giving us a clue what it is because they obviously for everybody they they it's going to be very specific, but they are telling you, you are strong enough to align your life. They're like They're kind of saying to your ancestors, you know what it is. Now stand up, be strong, be the beautiful strong Leos that you are. She's got the world in one hand, the moon in the other. You can do and create whatever you want, whatever is causing you to be scattered and fragmented. If it's, a, if it's people, a person, a place, a work, job, boss, whatever it is, it's going to be specific for everybody and unique, stand up and put it in order because you have the willpower, you have the strength to create the world as you want it. Acknowledge your strength. Okay. Right. Then breaking the chain, so we're getting, for a lot of you, it has to do with financial health. And this is a very strong message for those of you who are struggling with money, who mon with money is being uh, always an issue, it could be gambling, anything to do with financial health from uh, this generation and past generations, you are able to break the chain, you are able to heal this and rewrite the future for you and for your children and your children's children and future generations. You have the strength to do this, dear Leah. You really do. Your, your ancestors are coming very clearly across with this. And then this is such a lovely message because whatever you are being called to do, they want you to know, they want you to trust it. This is not, it's not a, just a fly by night calling. It's something that you need to honor. It's something that is true to you. And they want you to say, they're saying, trust this calling because it's going to be something very unique and specific for you. And it could really assist in this creating heaven on earth because you, you, are, you have something in you that is going to help transform and assist people going forward. Lovely, lovely readings, um, messages coming through from your ancestors, Leo. Lovely, lovely messages. So I'm now going to pull an energy card to see the best energy for you to work with, that your um, ancestors would like you to work with as you go through this um, this month and, and take heed of these um, messages. So let's get a nice message for you. We've got the beautiful hawk spirit. Let spirit be your guide. So they want you to know that the messages here are really, really what they want you to hear. And let these messages be your guide this month. Lovely, lovely. They really want to be part of this process. They want you to really trust your call, to know that you have the ability to break chains, to realign your life and to create heaven on earth. Okay, so let's get a final message for you, my dear Leos. Okay, we have got the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands is a very, very dynamic, fast-moving, creative, entrepreneurial energy. She makes the world happen the way she wants it to happen. We've got the Four of Cups saying that, you know, you are able to take people who are kind of lost and don't know where they're going and don't know what to do. You are able to take the lead and show them the way because of your strong, strong Leo energy and spirit. And the final card we get from you is the Ace of Cups. Here's the Ace of Cups coming through with the hand of God 
and here is the Ace of Cups, you really have the ability to bring about a lot of transformation for yourself, for your family and for others. There you have it, my dearest dearers. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please go ahead, give it the thumbs up, share and subscribe to my channel. And I'm sending you all lots of love.